Hey guys, Mars Ingen here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so, of course, of all the things, of all the times, the hero celebration, the thing that I'm the most hype about, uh, as you can see from the time on the screen, uh, we got the V-Jump leaks, which gives us a ton of information about heroes. And all of this came out at 3.49 a.m. So, of course, your boy was fast asleep. Um, I've just woken up to all of this news. So, I'm going to make a video about it. Obviously, when it comes to breaking news stuff, like, you know, you kind of have to get a video out straight away, especially if Truth gets his video out first. Like, I have no idea whether this video will do very well or not, but it's heroes. I've got to cover all the hero stuff, and I'm sure a bunch of you out there probably have been waiting for my reaction and, like, my breakdown of all this hero heroes news because a lot of people do know me as the heroes you know well one of shout out to people like uh dokon assets toon rami uh quite a few people tagged me in this thread because you guys know i'm the heroes guy or at least one of like i said so a lot of information from this v jump scan so here's a zoom in um unfortunately we're missing the bottom part of the page but i'll uh, go over a lot of the information here so we are shown five cards here, three of which we knew about already, which is the Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and of course Hearts. Now, the art that was shown off for the Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4s was different to this, um, which means that was definitely the TUR art. And you can see, well, you might not even be able to see, but it says SSR here. On the uh, cards right so this is the SSR art that you will summon and then that means that the limit breaker Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta definitely have awakenings into TURs and we already know Hearts does because he has uh, we've seen the awakened art he has an active skill all that good stuff and then two other units have been released in fact these are the last two other units to be released apart from the headliner the headline unit is the only one now that has not been officially released which obviously as i've said in multiple of these videos already up to this point the working estimation is still that the headline unit is going to be limit breaker super saiyan 4 vegeto so very, very exciting, but these other two units, Golden Metal Cooler and Black Janemba. So, I know there's somebody in my community, I can't remember who, I should have like gone back and looked through my comment section, but God knows how I would have been able to find it. I know there's at least one person that comments on my videos regularly who's super excited about this, Black Janemba coming out. And then Golden Metal Cooler, I mean, I made a video... I think it was while the Worldwide Celebration was still on, or when it was coming to an end, talking about how Golden Metal Cooler would be an awesome choice for this year's Hero Celebration, because we got a bunch of units during the Worldwide Celebration that actually had in their passive that they would get extra buffs or do something extra if they had an ally on the rotation whose name includes Metal Cooler. So obviously that would include golden metal cooler so obviously this is uh, very very exciting um can i zoom in on this and then move it yeah there we go so it doesn't really fit into the frame very well so let me go back to this one even though it's a smaller image you can see at the bottom here um i could zoom in but i mean the image itself let me see if i can get a better view up here um because this the view that I get on the Twitter thing is not exactly the best one. So let's go to this one. All right, yeah, there we go. So at least here I can uh, move. Let me zoom in, and then I'll move this up. <laughs> you gotta love doing all this in uh, in real time. But um, okay, and the bottom is cut off. Nice. All right. How do I even get the? Why is it not showing up? Oh, it's just not zoomed in. Right. So there we go. <laughs> So, yesterday I put out a video saying, will the free-to-play units get an Extreme Z area? And yes, yes they are apparently. Um, and not only did I say in that video, you know, we've got the original four here that I talked about. I did say that the Demon Goddess Poutine, because she was last year's free-to-play unit, I wasn't so sure whether she would get an easy A. However, with the Hero Celebration only being once a year, it kind of makes sense that the free-to-play unit should get an easy A the following year. Because free-to-play play units like age out much quicker than summonable units because they can just easily be replaced by another free to play unit right so it appears that she is going to get one as well because she is on the artwork here so this is a ridiculous amount of easy a's that we're going to get five free to play units are easy aing 
And then we have this here, the image for the actual Extreme Z battle. Now, this is very interesting because I made a video talking about the summonable EZAs the other day as well. And we thought we knew exactly which batch of units was going to be getting an EZA. However, on the artwork here, you can quite clearly see the Super Saiyan Kumba and Super Fu as well. Now, I don't know if that means that they're going to get EZAs on top of all the units that we talked about in the video the other day, or if it means that some of those units are actually not going to get an EZA. Um, I mean, I'd be perfectly fine if they didn't EZA Super Mirror. I don't think many people care about him. I definitely still want them to EZA the Demon Demigra, the physical one, because he's such a good link partner for um, Meki Kabara. But these two getting an EZA is awesome. And then... Underneath that, yet another thing that I made a video about. Like, this hero celebration is actually going to be the best hero celebration ever. And possibly the best celebration of the entire year. Apart from, I guess some people could probably still rate, like, the anniversary or the worldwide celebration. But for big heroes fans, I feel like this could actually take the cake of best celebration of the year. Because, yep, yet another thing that I predicted. We are getting a heroes red zone. So the art only shows on here Fu, Kumba, and Golden Cooler. So I wonder if it's going to be just, if they're just going to call it like a generic like heroes theme. Or if it's going to be like the Prison Planet saga from the anime. Because obviously all three of these characters are in that saga. And then there's obviously a couple of stages out that they could do as well. Um, because then that would leave it open to them doing next year. They could obviously do another Heroes Red Zone set of stages that are themed around another one of the arcs right like we could have the core area warriors one so then the stages would be heart zamasu um kami and oren i guess kumba's also there as well but that'd be pretty interesting and then of course we have the free to play i think we'd already seen this ssr art in uh the th uh, thing that was shared before this is lags or rags i forget i think it's lags because it's like an anagram of glass. Because she uses like glass crystal-y type powers. We can see her TUR. She's the farmable free-to-play unit. So hopefully she's going to be good. Because her alongside some of these other characters. Like the demon goddess Poutine with her EZA. Robel and Supreme Kai of Time getting their awakenings. A lot of these units are going to work really, really well together. So this is obviously very, very exciting. Um, and then I brought up the wiki here for, uh, we got our boy Janemba. So, obviously no black Janemba exists in the game, but we'll have a look at the super Janemba here. Now, I don't know, with heroes units, it's always a bit hit or miss whether they will get big bad bosses. Because it kind of depends whether they were, like, the actual boss of the arc, right? Because Golden Cooler does not have big bad bosses, even though every other, like, Final Form or Metal Cooler does. So I wouldn't be surprised if Black Janemba doesn't have it. However, Black Janemba is the enemy that they fight that forces Goku and Vegeta to unlock and become the Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4s. And then they finish him off with a double, like, a duo Dragon Fist, which is pretty awesome. So he kind of is the boss of that arc. So he could honestly have big bad bosses. And then the rest of his link set just seems, you know, spot on, right? Why would they change any of this? Now, obviously, it could be different. could be completely different. But I feel like all of these links just fit the Janemba character. Now, we don't yet know whether they will get Awakenings. This is the one thing that we've talked about. I think Hero should stop doing this thing where they don't awaken the, um, like, some of the cards. And then we have to wait two years well we only have to wait a year now for rebel and supreme kai of time so hopefully that means from now on if the units don't awaken we are only going to have to wait a year um, but that does affect what the banner is going to look like next year because remember the banner is always the new units and the awakenings so this year it's going to be these five units plus the headliner plus the four units who are doke on awakening and then boom there's your 10 units whereas if they awaken these guys then next year it would just have to be 10 new units so even if they don't awaken these two, it's still going to have to be eight new units and then these two. So we don't actually know whether they will awaken. They might stay as uh, SSRs for a year, which is not the best unless they're designed very well, right? Like they, There's no reason why they can't be usable as SSRs. But I just, for me, I hope they get awakenings, right? I want the units to be 
as like power scale to the current meta as possible and obviously actually have either Shattering the Limit or Fierce Battle. If the headline is going to be Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Vegito and the two Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4s are awakening as well, hopefully they're awakening from his medals and they get Fierce Battle because then obviously that's going to make them much better for running with the other Super Saiyan 4s that we have in the game already. So in terms of what Black Janemba is going to do, obviously it's hard to say. Janemba's always been a kind of defensive character with guard, dodge, that kind of thing. So hopefully Black Janemba. The heroes desperately needs really, really good slot one tanks. So hopefully that's what Black Janemba is uh, going to do. Uh, obviously we have Janembu, who's kind of like the uh, odd man out here. He is from Fusions, but he is a Janemba character that doesn't have like big bad bosses. Now he has Margin, which he wouldn't have. Maybe he'd have, I don't know what the lore for like Black Janemba is, but he's not going to have links like Berserker, Fused Fighter, etc. So, there, you know, this is a Janemba-ish unit that doesn't have big bad bosses, but he has like a completely different link set. And then when we look at Metal Cooler, I brought up the Int one here, uh, the summonable one. Again, these guys, uh, he actually doesn't have big bad bosses. I think the free to play ones don't have big bad bosses either. But this is the kind of one that I was talking about, right? This is another one of the units. These guys get extra buffs if there is a unit whose name includes Metal Cooler. So I could see them ha him having a similar link set to this kind of thing. Because Golden Freezer doesn't have any links that are like, you know, godly power and stuff like that. Because obviously it's not a god key form. Um, so I could see the links being very similar. Obviously, ideally, we want the links to be similar to the existing Metal Coolers. Because one thing that would obviously be awesome is if he links up well with the LR. And then LR Metal Cooler and then Golden Metal Cooler will obviously be a good and potentially fun rotation. So looking forward to that. And then if we have a very quick look here at the Foo and Golden, uh, the Cumber, in terms of what their EZAs could bring. Like, Fu definitely could be very good. He raises attack and defense on super. He seals. He's one of these characters. He gets all of his stats on super. And then he gets extra key and chance to dodge per time traveler's ally on the team. So it's good for him that it's not tied completely to heroes. You can use him on a team, you know, with time traveler allies. Um, I could see this being increased so that his dodge chance goes up to 50 or even 70 if they want to focus on him being a dodge character. So that is pretty cool. And the fact that he gets key as well means that he, you don't have to worry about him not linking up well with other units on the team in terms of key. So this guy, after an EZA, definitely could be a really strong defensive option for the team. And then this Comba, I'm not sure what they'll do necessarily to make him good enough for things like Red Zone. But this guy, really good in Super Battle Road when he came out. Because he has this ability that when he gets hit by a super class enemy, he has a high chance of stunning all of the super class enemies. Uh, well, it's when he gets hit by anyone, but he only stuns the super class enemies. So give him some, you know, just, just the overall TUR EZA stat buffs, buff his base attack and defense. I don't think they would increase this to great chance because it's a pretty OP ability. Um, and then just throw something else extra in there because he doesn't really do anything else other than that. Uh, definitely needs a super attack effect like raising defense or something like that. But he looks very, very good. He also has the high chance of turning into a great ape when HP is 50% or less once only. They could probably increase this to twice. I wouldn't probably change the high chance because you know how I feel about great ape transformations. And then he gets key plus two. Um, it'd be nice if they gave him something like you know guaranteed crits like Cell has in his giant form or something like that. But the key is obviously helpful to help get those super attacks just bump it up to like key plus three all attacks are crits and then yeah his super attack i think i can't remember how they word the great eight easy a's but they like massively raise attack for one turn or whatever so very very exciting stuff uh heroes hype is real um i can't believe like i say they dropped the news while i was asleep but yeah, very, very excited. We're still continuing our countdown. I'm doing a Heroes video every single day, building up towards the Heroes celebration. So let me know what you think about this news. What do you think about the reveal of Golden Metal Cooler and Black Janemba? The fact that we're getting the Extreme Z area, we're getting Heroes Red Zone. So much crazy stuff going on. This is going to be the best Heroes celebration ever. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.